that time, Jesus exclaimed, I bless you, Father, Lord of heaven and of earth, for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children. Yes, Father, for that is what it pleased you to do. Everything has been entrusted to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, just as no one knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labour and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy and my burden light. Very, very sure indeed. It's great if you can really believe it, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. I think sometimes uh, I don't feel the yoke is easy and the burden is light. No, like. but I suppose it's that um, you will go through fire and it will not burn you and you will mm. go through rivers and you will not drown. Mm. You won't avoid fires and you won't avoid uh, rivers, oh. but you will not drown. That's so, great, yes. Yeah, yes. so yes. You will suffer... Mm. Um, uh, challenges, mm. but I will be there and you will come through. I think that's how it's because mm. mm. the yoke has not been removed. I, no, my yoke is not a feather. No, my yoke is a yoke. Yes. My yes. Uh, committing to me will be, make demands, mm. Mm. and you can't expect that it won't. And that it's, goes back to that phrase we had a few Sundays ago I am the way, the truth, and the life. life. Yes. And if, if we follow the way, that means the way of the cross, because yes. Jesus followed to the end. Yes. So, yes, you're and right. It's, it's, um, and I think Matthew it's inevitable. Is, yes, and Matthew's saying, um, the, uh, thank you, Father, for you revealed this to little children. Mm -hmm. So he's deprecating his community. Mm -hmm. We are just little children, but we're faithful little children. Mm -hmm. um, there are others who are... Uh, intelligent and clever but mm. they can't understand our beliefs so mm. he's trying to tell mm. them your your littleness of faith is um, is powerful and if you if you go into a class of little children or if you're yes. around a group of little children and you talk to them about God they're so with it yes they, yes. they they've just got this guileless unassuming yes. kind of yes. knowledge of God they seem to know they will have to be a transient state, yes. like they, they are little, yes. but they're very prepared to accept that there is, well, they're prepared to accept they don't know everything, you see. Mm. And I wonder how often I'm prepared to accept yes. I don't, don't know, know everything. everything. Yes. Because I, I know that I like to be in charge of my life. Yes. yes. And so when the burden is there, and the yoke is yes. there, and I don't feel so in charge, it's a real challenge to me to keep on believing that, that God Jesus is, is there yes. and that he is inviting me to come and give my burden to him. Yes, you know? yes. Yeah. That there is a strength yeah. outside yourself, mm. that the yoke is very palpable, mm. but that God is palpable too. And the other thing that I wondered about in this reading, if there's a message in there for us as the Christian community, that we have a challenge to lighten the yoke of others. Oh, I think that's, because, yes. Because, you know, Matthew was writing this within the community yes. and he was inviting his community to take charge of helping others. Yes. And so that's a challenge too. You can always it? expect the evangelist to have the agenda of um, instructing, mm. to, well, to mm. evangelise. Mm. That's his mm. point. That's right. I am telling yeah. you yeah. that we are in hard times yeah. but that Christ is in hard times with us. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that, that that has to be an element of what's been said. Yeah. There is a yoke but there is a person who can break that yoke. That's and wonderful. this is Jesus. Thank you. Yes. Yeah.